Cinema, where we focus on a film. I'm Josh, this is Simply Cinema. Let me know in the comments below what movies you have on your watch list this coming month, whether it's things in the theaters, which of course I'll be watching whatever I can, but also anything from a movie watching theme or anything along the lines of that. I needed to go back to having fun, adding a lot of different options and not always following the strict schedule of only pertaining rankings to the new releases and I'll still be having some of that but I'm having an action watch list themed month which you guys voted on in one of my community polls so be sure to check out my community poll every once in a while just to see if I have some fun polls or rankings along the lines of that which you can participate in as well and vote for whichever next themes month if I go along the lines of that which may be pre-planned depending on what I have all in school. This isn't a strict, strict watch list. I'm of course doing some things on streaming, some things based on new releases, but this will just give me the variety of options of things that I've been wanting to watch for a while but can't always pertain to my schedule. And we got a, quite a big pile and of course not all of it will be watched specifically, but things that I'm trying to prioritize a little bit even if it doesn't end up upon this month but first off we got Rio Real and Rio Real 2. I actually watched Rio already just a couple days ago pertaining to Carlos Solanda his filmography as a director it, with Harold and the Purple Crayon come out and it was fun. I'm revisiting some of the Blue Sky movies as you'll be seeing a little bit later in this list since which Carlos Solanda started as a Blue Sky director. There's 13 films. I don't know if I'll get through all of them this month, but starting to get through all the animation rankings for this channel. Next up, we got SpongeBob on the run. I got the other two I have to get on HBO, which I am kind of relatively excited to revisit those. I haven't watched Spongebob on the run and the uh, second one recently but there's a new Bikini Bottom movie coming to Netflix just tomorrow August 2nd that I'm not too excited for but it's gonna be interesting to explore that possibly be able to do a ranking of all four Spongebob movies. Next up we got Harold and the Purple Crayon pertaining of course to the new release. There's three sort of short films that were based on the animated film. I really enjoyed the book when I was much younger. I haven't revisited it since at all. And so it'll be fun to do something. I don't know if I ever watched these before, but I, I might be able to do a mini ranking just of those films. It doesn't really relate unless these there's full feature links to these then it can't really relate to comparing to the new release but regardless that's what that's all for and we're gonna be going on to this little pile here where i'm gonna well show them off real quick where it's a big marvel pile following up from deadpool and wolverine I've been meaning and been backlogged on my schedule of what Marvel movies I watch. And so all of these will not be watched, but I'm throwing out my options out here since they're all action related. And I was pertaining to watch a lot of Marvel movies, do some rankings that are not related to the MCU or X-Men in general. And so we got Elektra. And we got the animated features, Planet Hulk, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange. And some of them, uh, they're all going to be character related, especially since even though they're animated, I'm going to be essentially comparing Doctor Strange to the other three Doctor Strange movies, including the TV film. So uh, something along the lines of that, we got the Blade films, including Blade House of the Ketan. I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce that. In the movie so that's just something along lines we got Iron Man Extremis and Spider-Woman there's Marvel Knights that's this own studio that made 16 animated films that I'll be trying to get through as well Fantastic Four Daredevil Captain America and Captain America 2 death too soon from 79 a lot of these are rewatches besides the animated titles but wanting to refresh my memory for the rankings once I get them out. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Warzone the Punisher. This is actually the only live action 
uh, Marvel Knights movie they made, which is an interesting combination, just the fact that they got this. It's not a sequel to the regular Punisher or even the 1989 Punisher TV film. And so it's an interesting remake of sorts that this other studio did. We got Thor Tales of Asgard animated film, have not seen that. And then I believe the rest of these, I just got them all last month, you'll see in my Blu-ray haul. We got Astonishing X-Men for animated films. These are all from Marvel Knights. We got the Eternals. We got the Wolverine collection, there's four movies in that. And so yes, I won't be able to get all of these with everything else on my schedule. Thor and Loki. Black Panther and the Inhumans. So that'll be fun to start going through those, including some of the MCU movies that I may have missed in order to get my MCU ranking finally done for you guys. I do have the X-Men franchise ranking coming soon to the channel, so make sure to like this video if you enjoy it, subscribe. And so we got continuing on, we got Pope John II. This is an interesting one. I heard some things based on if some friends on Instagram that could be pretty good. I haven't heard too much about that uh, other than that. And yes, this will go into some things where I'm not always going to be strictly doing action. I won't necessarily watch all these films, but we got RIPD. Haven't heard the best things, but it's a comic book movie. Might explore more of that. Then Red Line, never seen that. We got American Made, which is the start of Doug Lyman's filmography. Well, this isn't his first film, but we got a new film coming to Apple TV Plus August 9th, just next week for Doug Lyman. I haven't seen too many of his movies, so we'll see. I sort of want to centralize getting his list done since he's an action director, and I've been wanting to explore some of this soon. As you'll see, with Born Identity, he did the first film, and I haven't seen any of the Born franchise, which leads me into saying I got Born Supremacy, Born Ultimatum, and yes, I got a good amount of these films from the library as well. Jason Born and Born Legacy. So hopefully, I'll be able to watch the Born franchise for the first time. And we also got Serenity and Much Ado About Nothing, the Joss Whedon version, which it's only those two films that I have to watch in order to do his filmography ranking because he's done the first two Avengers films as well as the Josh Whedon cut of the Justice League that Zack Snyder was starting. And so I'll be pertaining that to that list ranking if I get to that around this month. We got The Crow with that coming out the end of the month. So I haven't seen or heard too much about this. So it'll be fun to visit for the first time. We got Death Wish, which is related to Death Wish, the remake, which is by Eli Roth. He has a new movie coming out next week on August 9th. I'm blanking on the title of what it is right now. And along the lines of that, we got Hostel. And I may watch even more Eli Roth movies if I can fit it in the schedule. But I don't believe I'll be getting to these other films. And we got from Fede Alvarez, director of Alien Romulus. We got The Girl in the Spider's Web, who Fede Alvarez also did Don't Breathe and a couple others that I may have seen, the remake of Evil Dead. And we'll go into this next pile right here, which is a little bit more of a priority pile as well. We got Die Hard. I've only seen the first two. I was trying to re watch one and then get through the rest of the franchise earlier this year, but didn't get to that. So hopefully I'll be able to get to the rest of that for this month. But we also got Alien, the quadrilogy. And of course, I'll be rewatching and then finishing what I have left to watch. I believe I've only had the first couple or the last couple of films to watch and release for Alien Romulus for a ranking for that. We have The Killing and then there's also this one, I, Killer's Kiss from Stanley Kubrick. I'm rewatching a few camp Stanley Kubrick films. I was trying to get through all of them uh, with the release in July 26th when it was his birthday, but I just got thrown out of whack with my schedule. So I'll still be doing a Stanley Kubrick film 
ranking possibly this month if I can finish these. I only got a few films left, but there's a lot on my plate. But we got Barry Lyndon, which one of my favorites, but I haven't opened it since uh, first getting it after my first watch. So it's going to be fun to watch that on Blu-ray for the first time, see if it still lives up and where it ranks in my placing. And then we got The Predator, a Shane Black film, which is the last of the four films that I need, I believe, pertaining since he did Iron Man 3 and I'm trying to do Marvel directors and MCU directors rank his their filmographies even if I don't complete them it's going to be fun to introduce them just for the first time and since it's sort of related to Alien franchise I'll possibly try and get through Predator but we'll see how that even works out. We got Jumper which is a Doug Lyman film pertaining to what I mentioned earlier, the instigators. And we got the Suicide Squad. It's a good movie that I might want to try and revisit from James Gunn. Might revisit some of his films in anticipation for a ranking for him. Since he's an MCU director trying to check out Phil's list. And we got Glenn Gary Gunn Ross. One of my one favorite film from one of my friends that's over on Instagram. Haven't seen this and so hopefully I'll be able to check off some of his favorite movies. We got The Expendables 1 through 3. My, I've seen all of these but I haven't ranked the franchise on my channel. So this is another one. I haven't pulled out everything from all my action movies from my collection but still trying to do some sense of reasonability while also giving me a variety in case I want to switch from one franchise to the next. Don't want to bore myself out too much. And then we got the Escape Plan Trilogy. Haven't ranked this one. I've only seen the first one quite a few years ago. I was kind of into it. I know it's a guilty pleasure for some just because it's a combination of action thriller stars with Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Don't remember too much who else is in there but that'll be interesting to get into if I can. I got this at a library sale just recently. 10 movie action pack. I haven't explored a lot of these actors in their filmographies but I might do something with Chuck Norris and there's Jackie Chan with Supercop. So we'll see what I pull out of this and it's fitting just because this is an action theme month whether I get to it or not. And we got, I'm going to watch Hancock from this collection or attempt to based on this DVD set that I got quite a bit ago at a library sale as well. I've already seen Hellboy and I got Ghost Rider in the Marvel collection already. So we'll see see if I can get to Hancock will will be the priority of that fact. And we got 21 and 22 Jump Street. I haven't seen these films. They're Phil Lord and Christopher Miller films which I have another one coming up uh, soon in this pile which will hopefully go toward his rank their ranking once I get to it. We got Fan Helsing. Felt like getting another Hugh Jackman film out since he's one of my favorite actors we just got a new film for him recently so it'll be possibly fun to explore that if I can get around to it and for this I want to do a team haven't I Liam Neeson is one of my favorite actors and wanting to explore more of his filmography I've already seen the Taken trilogy this year and Unstoppable I haven't seen either but we'll see what I get around to with this True Lies, I've heard a lot of good things about this and have been slowly knocking off my James Cameron filmography. And so maybe I'll get to this action film since I've heard quite a good things about it and might as well include Arnold Schwarzenegger within some of these films. And we got Unbreakable. Won't rewatch all of M. Night Shyamalan's films with his new release coming tomorrow for a trap but might revisit a few just to refresh my memory for that ranking as well. We got Eddie, Eddie Macon's run and now I got this a couple months ago from Big Lots and I am a big fan of Kirk Douglas but I haven't seen too much of his filmography. Spartacus being my favorite film of his and so I just grabbed this on sort of a blind buy not sure how great it is but 
might as well collect some older titles as well see if i can get to it as well which seems like a good action piece and this has some priority films as well just intermix throughout we got beetlejuice this will be more toward the end of the month or trying to check off some films from tim burton's filmography it's been a few years since i've seen it it's pretty good from what i remember and we got batman 1 through 4, the original 89 through 97 run of Quadrilogy, and they're all good to not so great for what I remember uh, having seen them a couple of years ago, and the first two are Tim Burton films, so that's just what I have of the collection from him. We got Barbie. I haven't seen this since the release of Barbenheimer, so it may be a good time to revisit it. I've been thinking of about it just recently, including the Lego movie. And this used to be one of my most rewatched films back in the day, but that was also before I was exploring tons of movies as well, looking at piles like this for one month. And so hopefully I'll be able to eventually get through this maybe pull out some other lego movie titles depending on what i'm feeling for the month and surprise surprise as big of a lego fan as i am i have not ranked the lego movies here on this channel so we'll see what happens with that and we got black draft that backdraft a ron howard film i know he has a new film eating coming out later this year it doesn't have a date yet that i've seen and so uh, hopefully I'll be able to coordinate some of my schedule if I end up completing Ron Howard's films or just checking out more along the way. And next up we have this action movie pack that I've had for a couple of years about. We got Assassins, Cobra, and The Specialist all with Sylvester Stallone. So that'll be interesting. I haven't known as much of how good these are. They may be some 80s cheese but Nothing wrong with that if it's something to check off more films from my list and what I have in the collection. And we got Unknown from Hame Colette Sarah. I oh a few films from being complete with his filmographies. He doesn't have the greatest filmography, but with Liam Neeson and some of his action films, they're guilty pleasures that you can just enjoy for what they are. They have their own sense of style. And this is another Liam Neeson film that I need to check off the watch list. We got super bad. It was mixed up from a James Gunn filmography. I do enjoy this one quite a good bit. It's crass and raunchy a little bit, but it does have this unique way of telling its superhero story. And next up we have Spies in Disguise, another Blue Sky film that I haven't seen since 2019. I enjoyed quite a bit watching in theaters and it'll be interesting to see Will Smith, Tom Holland on screen in anime form just being able to enjoy a good time with that. Going on to the final three movies in this collection, or at least sets of movies that will be pertaining to some September releases. And first up, we got Friday the 13th, a movie collection. It doesn't have Fr Friday versus Jason or the remake, but this I, September 13th will be a Friday so it'll be interesting to see if I can check this off the list there's quite a few things coming in August as well as September that I sort of want to cover but can't cover it all which includes Star, Star Trek that is pertaining to Star Trek Day that is happening on September 8th a few days before Friday the 13th so we'll see what all goes on with that and then that also leads into Transformers which goes about September 20th and since it's action related I might start it within this month since I may have to spread out different watches especially just so I stay motivated stay on the grind of my focus certain things I want to cover even if I don't cover it all re pertaining to re new releases so that's also leading into like I mentioned Tim Burton has a new movie September 6th with Beetlejuice Beetlejuice so we'll just see what all goes on with what I choose to cover what I end up covering what I can complete and cover either way there's going to be rankings that come at 
whatever time they need to, whether it's based on a new release or not. So let me know down in the comments below which recommendations you post for me the most. Whether it should be the Born franchise or Die Hard franchise, what franchises would you like to see me rank for this channel that you love as well? And make sure to like this video if you enjoy it. Be sure to comment down below your list of movies you'll be checking out, whether it's following my movie watch list theme or you have your own theme of your month and so that's just all make sure to enjoy yourself a video and go watch a movie